Now we are going to see cubing the number in Vedic mathematics. In general maths, we have to do long calculations. But in Vedic maths, we can cube the numbers in few simple steps. Let us see 52 cube. In this case, I will take a is equal to 5, b is equal to 2 and b upon a is equal to 2 by 5. As a first step, I will do a cube. Now here it is 5 cube. So I get 125. As a second step, I will do b upon a multiplied by previous answer that is 125. So here I get 2 upon 5 multiplied by 125. The answer is 50. In a third step, again I will do b upon a multiplied by first answer or previous answer. So here it is 50. So I get 2 upon 5 multiplied by 50. So my answer is 20 here. As a fourth step, I will do b cube or b upon a into again previous answer that is 20. Both the answers will be same. Here I get 8. Our first part is over. Now in second part, as a first row, I will just write down the answers of previous steps that is 125, 50, 20 and 8. For calculation of second row, I will simply double the middle figures that is 50 and 20 so I get 140. Let us add them. 125 is as it is. Here I get 150, 60 and 8. Now my second part is over. Now in a third part I will simply go on adding 3 zeros for the first figure, 2 zeros for the second figure, 1 zero for the third figure and no zero for the last figure. Now after this I will simply go on adding traditionally that is 8, 0, 6, 10, 4 and 1. Let us revise it again. In the first part I did 4 calculations then first and second row. After that I simply added 0 in front of the figures and finally in the addition I got the answer. Let us take one more example that is 12 cube. Now here A is 1, B is 2 and B upon A is 2 upon 1. That is true. As a first step I will do A cube that is 1. At the second step, I will do b upon a into previous answer that is 1. So here I get 2. At the third step, again b upon a into previous answer that is 2. So I get here 4. As the fourth step, I will do b upon a into previous figure that is 4. So the answer is 8. Next, my first row will be 1. 2, 4 and 8 and my second row is doubling the middle figures that is 4 and 8. I will simply add it 8, 12, 6 and 1. Now in the last step I will add 3 zeros in front of the first figure. I will write 2 zeros in front of the second figure. 1 zero in front of the third figure and no zero in front of the last figure. So my addition is 8, 2, 7, 1. That's my answer. So 12 cube is equal to 1, 7, 2, 8. Just go through the calculations once again. The first four calculations, then two rows, then simply add 3, 2, 1 and no zeros in front of the figures and add them traditionally. Let us take one more example of 3 digits, 102 cube. Now here my a is 10 and b is 2. So my b upon a is 2 by 10 or 1 by 5. As a first part, I will do a cube. That is 10 cube, I get 1000. Second part, 1 upon 5 into 1000. That is 200. Third part, 1 upon 5 into 200 that is 40 as a fourth part 
1 upon 5 into 40. So here I get 8. Next, my first row is 1240 and 8. And my second row is doubling the middle figures 400 and 80. Let us add them. So I get 8 here, 120, 600 and 1000. As the next part, I will add 3 zeros in front of the first figure that is my 1000. I will add 2 zeros in front of my second figure that is 600. 1 zero in front of 120 and no zeros in front of last figure that is 8. So 102 cube is 8021601. So I get the answer in simple steps without any cumbersome calculations. But this method is applicable for the numbers which are less than 999. That is, the last step differs. When we add 3 zeros, 2 zeros, 1 zero and no zero, this is only applied to the numbers which are less than 999. But suppose the number is greater than that, method is exactly same, only in last step I have to add 6 zeros in front of the first figure, then 4 zeros instead of 2 in front of the second figure, 2 zeros in front of the third figure instead of 1 and at last no zero. Otherwise the calculations are same. Let us take one figure 1001 cube. Now since this number is greater than 999, we have to add 6, 4, 2 and no zeros in front of the figures in last step. Here my A is 10 and B is 0, 1 and B upon A is 1 upon 10. Rest of the calculations are same. As the first part, I will cube A that is 1000. Second part, I get 1 upon 10 into 1000 that is previous figure. So I get 100 here. As the third step, I will do 1 by 10 into 100. So I get 10. As a last step, I will do 1 upon 10 into 10, that is 1. Let us calculate the first row. My figures are 1000, 100, 10 and 1. And in second row, double the middle figures, that is 200 and 20. Let's add them. So here I get 1, 30, 300 and 1000. Now let us add 6 zeros in front of the first figure that is 1000. Let us add 4 zeros in front of the second figure that is 300. 2 zeros in front of 30 and no zero in front of the last figure. So here it will be simply 1. Let us add them traditionally. 1, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 1. This is my cube. If you do it by traditional method, the calculations are very large. But here, we get simply in three steps.